Hi, this is Dave, Fellering Guide. Welcome to another navigation challenge. And this is another one where you've got to compare a photograph and a map extract, see if you can work out where the photo was taken and see if you can identify the feature that circled the, the red circle on the photo. So there's our photo. And if we have a look at the map, there's the map. Now what are we looking at? Well, first impressions are that we're looking downhill to um, a, an odd shaped lake, a, a distinctively featured lake, and then another lake out into the distance beyond it. So we might say to start with, perhaps we're looking down towards a, an odd shaped lake, and we've got another lake in the distance behind it. That's our first impression. So if that was the case, we'd be looking to the land to the right of the lake as we looked at it would be dropping downhill. See these contours there, 525, 450, 375. So that land there to the right of this lake as we were looking at it would be dropping away downhill. We look at the photo that's not happening this land here to the right of the lake as we look is actually rising and then it's rising very steeply on this rocky ground to a prominent summit so that doesn't quite make sense to our first impression another thing to look at is the shape of this lake quite odd shaped now the, the very top of it, the closest bit to us, is obscured slightly by this foreground in the photo. But we can see this little finger sticking out, and then we've got a narrow waist, and then we've got the dis distinctive, almost like a hammerhead shape there. So, what can we see there? Well, here we've got that little finger, we've got the waist, and we've got this hammerhead shape. And then if we do look at the contours from there, we can see they're rising to the right of the lake as we look. And then we've got this very steep and gray, which indicates rocky ground summit there. So it makes sense that rather than looking from Travan down to the lake and over to Clinidwall, we're more likely to be looking down from Glidavach, down through this, or past this little clin here, and into the distance. And the, the lake that we can see in the photo in the far distance isn't actually shown on the map, it's off the map, and Clinidwall isn't on the photo. So that's off the map, and Cleaned wall is over to the left as we look. So that tells us that we are somewhere on Glidavac taking the photo. What else can we see? Well, we can see very steep ground dropping away straight in front of us. Trifan over to our right, and we can see a very distinctive path coming up from the right of the lake as we look. So what does that look like? So here we've got that path. Now as we look at the path on the photo, we're not looking straight down it, it's coming across us at an angle. So we're not looking straight down that path. So that means we can't be over here looking that way because we'd be looking straight along the path at that point there. And we're not doing that. What we are doing, this outflow, we're, we're much more in line looking along the outflow. So if I come back from that, we're more looking like that. So you can see that. There's the, the outflow of the lake there. So that puts us somewhere on here. 
steep ground. Now the photo was actually taken from that point there, just looking down the start of this steep rocky gully. So there's a steep rocky gully there. So that's where the photo was taken. What about the crags? What about this crag here? I've asked you to look for. Well, let's go back to the map. We're looking down towards the lake, we can see one, two, three, four, five crags that it could possibly be. So which one is it? So some people suggest it might be this one. Well, let's have a look at the orientation of the crag. That means which way is it facing? And we can tell that because these little black lines that point out, they point downhill away from the crag. So this crag here is facing northwards. And also, if you look at the contour lines, from the lowest part of the lake, we've got one, two, three, four, five, actually six contours, so that's six 15 metre contours. And you can see that that's on a quite steep downhill north facing slope. And if we go back to the photo, then that one isn't steeply or at the bottom of a, a steep slope and it's not facing north either, it's facing back towards us. So we can eliminate that far crag. Looking at these we've got one, two, three crags almost in a line, fairly close to the outflow of the lake and then a bit of a gap to another another crag. So looking on here there's a path coming down. One, two, three, quite close to the outflow, and then another one in the distance. And then we can look at the shape of that middle or the, the fourth one as we look. See here the shape of it, it's shaped almost a little sticking out bit, almost like a finger or a spur sticking out with a bit of the crag facing us. And that makes sense on that as well. So that is a crag on a spur. So the answers are the photo was taken from that point there. And we're looking over to that crag there. So did you get it right? hope so. If not, hope you learned something from it. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.